is cube root of x equals to square root of 2x from here let's take the cube on both sides that is raise both sides to power 3 here yeah, also to power 3 and from what we have here this power of 3 we cancel the cube root then we are left with x which is equals to square root of 2x then all raised to power 3 then also next step from here let's square both sides and we have this place as x square now equals to here we have square root of 2x all raised to power 3 then all square now from here and also applying the law of indices when we have a raised to power m raised to power n is same thing as a raised to power mn which also same thing as a raised to power n then raised to power m and this implies that this power here can be interchanged so we interchange this one power here and we have x square on this side then equals to here we now have into bracket root 2x then square which is now raised to power 3 from here then square and square roots we cancel each other then from here we are left with x square then equals to 2x all raised to power 3 then also from when we have a b all raised to power n this can be written as a raised to power n times b raised to power n that is here this power of 3 affect 2 and x and we have x square then equals to 2 cube times x cube from here and here 2 cube 2 times 2 times 2 that's 8 so we have x square equals to 8 x cube from here and let's bring everything to one side here we already have 8 x cube then taking x square here we got minus x square which is now equals to 0 then from here what we have common is x square so factor x square out and here it remain 8 x then remain minus 1 from here which is equals to 0 so the two cases here will be x square equals to 0 or 8x minus 1 equals to 0. That is from here. Solving on this side, when we take the square root on both sides, yes, square root of both sides, yes, square cancel square root, and we have x equals to square root of 0 is still 0. So we have x equals to 0 from here. And on this side, minus 1 comes to this side become plus and we have 8x now equals to 1 so divide both sides by 8 here 8 cancel each other then we have x <coughs> equals to 1 over 8 from here so here we have these two values of x x equals to 0 and x equals to 1 over 8 to check from what we have which is k root of x equals to square root of 2x substituting the value of x here for x equals to 0 so this becomes cube root of 0 is equals to square root of 2 times 0 then cube root of 0 here is still 0 which equals to here this square root of 0 and root 0 here is still 0. So we have 0 here equals to 0. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And here x equals to 0 here satisfies even problem. Then for x equals to 1 over 8. The problem becomes cube root of 1 over 8. Is equals to square root of 2 times 1 over 8. Then here we can equally write this as cube root of 1 over 2 raised to power 3 because 8 there is 2 raised to power 3 then equals to here 
2 can go in it. That's 2 year 1, 2 year 4. So we have square root of 1 over 4. That is here, we can apply 1 cube is still 1. So when we put 1 over 2 or cube, it's still the same thing with what we have. So cube roots here of 1 over 2 or raised to power 3 now. Then equals to here, we can separate this as root 1 over root 4. Then here, keep cancel, keep root. We are left with half, which is equals to here, root 1 is 1, and root 4 is 2. So, left hand side also equals to right hand side. And from here, we conclude that x equals to 1 over 8 as well satisfies this given problem. So, these are the solutions to the problem we are given and thank you for watching subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and see you next class bye for now